Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. I love what you've done with your hair today. It looks different. Did you get a haircut or something? <laughs> today I have a brand new video for you guys today. We will be doing a MUA reacts to Alex Demi getting ready, of course. Vogue Beauty Secrets as always. But yeah, you guys already know the deal. These have been doing pretty good recently, especially all of the Vogue Beauty Secrets. You guys love them and you guys just like watching me react to like other people do their makeup, I guess. But yeah, of course, let's get right into it. <laughs> Make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you think about this video and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and make sure you guys hit that post notification icon so you're unified every single time I drop a brand new video just like this one. I drop videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays so make sure you guys tune in. But yeah, I'm going to have one AirPod in and boy, we're going to get right into it. Alexa Demi's Guide to 90s Glam. Hi Vogue, it's She's Alexa so Demi. Beautiful. I'm gonna be doing a little oh, Alexa 90s Demi. nude I said Demi. glam, but I'm gonna start with some I skincare. Her name so so I always like to okay. start with a really skincare. cool face. Clean um, face good. Good whether blush. that's cleansing my face okay. or using a wipe. Oops. I just wanna get any like <laughs> excess like oil or anything that like builds up throughout the day. No, that's not good, but I prefer to so use after a wipe I cleanse my face, my face. I like to use personally. a little hydrating mist. Good, I'm good, obsessed good, good, good. with Eminence. It's all organic and it's made out of vegetables and you know, flowers, botanicals. It's it just like all natural. Know, okay. <laughs> Right I don't know. You're supposed really to be refreshing. telling me what the product is. So after I use the hydrating mist, I like to use a little bit of serum under my primer. Okay. My mom's a makeup artist and she's big on skin. So like my entire life, I would just hear, wash your face. Wash your face. <laughs> wash your face yeah. like every night. Oh, my great grandmother so really got her into skin. like um, creams and serums at a really young age. So she's always I mean, been that's really, not the best really good about sharing like, all of those products. I started maybe at like 14, So I'm really, 15. I mean, skin that's is like number one for me. So after I do my serum, like I like to use the Dior Backstage Primer. Okay, okay. She got shmoney. Foundation. Primer and Dior. I like to use Same a fluffy brush. I used to use She's like, you know it's Dior. a sponge, but I kind of, I like the feel of a fluffy brush. And I like a brush to kind of better than a sponge. work it They're in different. my skin They're without very it being different. too heavy. They're both really good, but one so is So my mom, different. I mean, I grew up watching her do makeup. I remember she she had to, she was working at MAC and she had to do like a 10 minute editorial look. So she brought me and I was like 12 years old and she did the craziest, most beautiful like editorial look on me and I loved it. I didn't want to take it off. <laughs> she's really good at eyes and she's all about blending. So my like my whole life she's always been like blend, blend, blend. She doesn't really like harsh lines. Damn, her mom blessed her. Neck. Not only her face, but in her Sam, like, the creator of Euphoria, life. he's really into makeup. And I made like three extensive mood boards for my look for Maddie and the makeup artists were so wonderful and like so collaborative so it was really fun because we got to kind of work together on each look and I would always do my own wing because that's kind of like my my signature thing I love that Does she brought a little bit of herself NARS to the character concealer that concealer is so good really really good I always bring it up and around the eye yes to make sure that it matches have that base mm -hmm. my eyeshadow. Uh, my I nose. prefer an eye primer, but I mean that's not too bad either. But Sometimes when you put a concealer I like as to look your at a lot primer of old, for your eyeshadow, um, like 90s, it can be risky. 60s, 70s editorial. Um, I kind of like. I sometimes don't even look up makeup. I just kind of look up the the editorial, and then I look a lot at like Cher and different artists from back in the day. And I kind of like to not like just recreate it completely, but just take pieces from each of those pictures and kind of do my own thing. Growing up in middle school and high school in LA, like I always had my hair slicked and I had my little baby hair and my gold jewelry and especially like, I don't know, it's just within my culture. So I think for sure LA has influenced my look. My mom's influenced it a lot. She's in so the beautiful. Sense that I love it. Growing up, I had like fashion magazines surrounding me. I like to bake under my eye while I do my eyeshadow. Her mom made a bad bitch and that's so how I'm just period. Use the sun, <laughs> just has a flat end. 
Oh, she's baking. I love baking. I, I don't no. bake anywhere else on my face. I just, under the eye, I think no. it helps when you're doing your eyeshadow too. It does not. It just, if anything falls, oh, it's really just easy. Just do your eyeshadow off. before like, your they eyes. I also have really hollow eyes and I just feel like this. That's not a thing. Kind of like, I don't know. Nope. Brightens me up. Ask your mom. <laughs> this is crazy, but it works. I'm gonna use just Okay, like somebody loves Dior. Look, like, you better calm down before I go broke. <laughs> And I like to tap it into the eye. It all depends what formula you're working with, of course. I'm gonna go into my crease with a slightly darker color. And I'm gonna take this color yeah, here. She knows how to pick good colors. And work in my crease. She's about to hit us with that natural glam. And I'll go in after this with a different brush and blend out even more. I think my character in the show is like, is like an elevated version of my high school makeup. I definitely oh, I started doing my wing really early on I think in like middle school damn and I was just all about like a wing and a lot of lip gloss and with Maddie I think that's we really that's, that's a bad issue we really <laughs> went there with the looks I go in with a little bit of this Pat oh my god I knew it was Pat McGrath what the heck she's telling me I'm broken 46 different languages <laughs> Some I don't know, some always, Dior, like, just that, but some really into face oil I didn't pronounce like and didn't know the name of. Eyeshadows right now, so this one has a little bit of brown and gold. Oh my god, I can't wait to get one of her I eyeshadow palettes one I day. I like to go back in and do my lid. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Still I wish blending. she listened to her mom and blended a little bit more. I'm crying. <laughs> Your mom's gonna start I'm yelling, bitch, if you don't blend more. more of this. Pat McGrath glitter on the lid. What I don't like is that she's just putting the glitter okay, everywhere, add a little but I mean, bit of it's her choice, of course. I prefer brow. it in the inner corner a little bit concentrated, but of course and it's her choice. Right under the eyebrow. So I'm gonna come back to the eyeshadow, but I wanna start the wing. <laughs> she's so like, I'm gonna fix Pat that McGrath's shit. Not yet, no. <laughs> pen. Damn. I've heard it is not that good, I start actually. At the, on the outer. Flick. Oh no. Oh, ooh, she bold. She bold. Oh, she knows what she's doing. Okay. Damn, I like a really like, pointed. I don't like it like too curled up to the. I, I don't know. It's kind of just. I, I've done it. My I just follow my eye here. But I just. It needs to be really pointy. So I kind of just start like that. And then I always get a q tip and I just. Here. That's why if you start with your eyes, Alexa, you would have to do that. <laughs> I love the inner corner. Give me that like fierce. Yes, snatched look. look. Of course. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. Is that a Louis Vuitton blush? I used to hate blush because my mom ah! was so obsessed <laughs> with blush. I love She would put blush. so much blush on me. Blush and is the best. I would always say no blush, like before she would do my makeup and now I'm... <laughs> I'd be like, get out. <laughs> and she would always say, Oh no, never smile and put blush on. Never do that. Never go like that. Because then when you stop smiling, it goes like this. And all the trail. blush is here. You want to start like this. Start with your face natural. Because so you're not like this your, everywhere. Um, you're like this. <laughs> There's a little bit of contour. I'm and I bring so it up poor. Into the cheek just a little bit. So now that I've done and my contour, And personally, for me, she brings the contour a, bit, a bit down. Her face is so snatched like and up and all. Oh, like, I would I would keep everything concentrated here. She I'm doesn't do have to bring anything here at all. Highlighter. She can keep everything right here. But it's all. it's all. We love her. We stand. That's cute. Bitch, does she work for Dior? <laughs> does she have any more products? It's been great working with Zendaya. I think like, like that's been one right, of the thanks best guys parts for coming for my Dior video. I'll catch you guys filming in the next is that we all instantly connected. I, think I we love both really Zendaya love on Euphoria. Makeup. We both love like guys, dressing leave up. Guys, comment down glam. below so I if I have to do a really Euphoria expired look, of course. Look. So I'm gonna go in. I'm huge. I don't ever not wear lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with this Dior lip Dior. liner. Dior. <laughs> sometimes I even layer lip liners, which I think I might do today. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brown. I recreated a Marilyn Monroe look once and I, I just looked up like her makeup artist's process and apparently they would layer like seven different reds on her lip. So 
I did that. I layered a lot of reds, it looks good. I think the pilot of Euphoria was the only episode that they didn't line my lips and... She was like, no ma'am. <laughs> she went to Zendaya's room and no, she I'm was like, I will quit it. this bitch like, today if I don't get my lips lined. Okay, so now that I've Zendaya done the like, nude lipstick, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brown gloss. <laughs> Growing up and my mom always had, she would always kill the 90s look. So she would always have her lip liner and lip her gloss. nude lip. Of course. And I've just always been play. drawn to like, we don't play. you know, the 90s supermodels and editorials. And I think I've just, it's like my signature thing that I've just Same. become obsessed with. Lip gloss I'm is layering another gloss on top of that. Dior. This Dior lip maximizer, just to give it a little. How did I know? In the center. My nails are not acrylic; they're soft gels, and I've. They're I think beautiful. I've had I love them. long nails since middle school. A bad bitch. So I've had my since wing birth. and my nails. It's always like just my thing. Oh, my brows! I oh shit! My brows. <laughs> so I don't fill in my like brows. Not because I don't like it, I just really don't know how, and I've kind of just... Is this your mom's a makeup artist? I've, for like three years, I didn't do anything to my brows, and I recently got them like shaped, so it's, it's new for me, but I just like to do brow gel. Like, I can't go in. Yeah, that's always great. You don't have brow to do. And I like Anastasia Brow Wiz is another great one. It's a brow gel, of course, with a little bit of pigment, and it's very, very simple. A little goes a long way, that's what I would recommend. I recently got eyelash extensions. And you're not supposed to put mascara, but I'm, I'm, I just, I have to. I'm to calling the mascara. police if you don't stop right now. You can mess up your eye things like I that. Always your eye things, your eyelashes. I always do this and fan my lashes and everybody always laughs at me. I love playing Maddie. I, I, she really, you know, I keep saying like she really pulled me out of my comfort zone in I'm a lot of ways. I'm happy that she's playing an after. She really did not lie. It was the first time I feel like, well, not the first time, but with her... Since we worked on it for so long, I was able to kind of like really get into her and grow with her. And you know, she would piss me off sometimes with some of her decisions. She's bold. I think she's dealing with a lot of emotional trauma at home. And so a lot of her decisions are, you know, they're not the smartest, but she's doing the best that she can. It was also super fun because it was the first time I had a character where I got to play with makeup and play with outfits and be so involved in that process. Honestly, I love seeing everybody's reactions. I love seeing everybody's like memes and tweets. No, do I feel so funny? So I'm just, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm relieved. You know, we shot for a really long time, so I'm just relieved that it's out and now people can just take it in. When I read the script, I was like, this all makes sense and I want to do it 100%. The nudity was, it was tough for me because I'm. Of course, for anybody, you know, I would imagine. Really I'm just not comfortable like that publicly. Yeah, so nobody is. Like, it was hard really for me, hard but it do. definitely, like I said, it pulled me out of my comfort zone. And after I did it and watched it, and it's, it's just, it's not that. You're kind of like, because eh. you think um, everyone's going to be like, oh. and I think everything but it that just we do happens. In the show, that's it. Like, nobody cares. We're not like glorifying it. I think we also show all the consequences. and. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's been getting like a really good response. So I think we, I think. Ben! <laughs> It just shows good. I think the look is done. No, you gotta blend that eyeshadow more, sis, before I call your mom. Mm. So now I'm just gonna set it with that same hydrating mist that I used in the beginning, just to kind of set let everything it together. All get into the skin. <sighs> it smells good. This is my final look. Thank you for watching. Oh, she's so pretty. I love this. Hopefully, you tune in. My image. <laughs> oh, of course, just like everybody else in all the Vogue Beauty Secrets, she's so freaking beautiful. I really like that um, she included that her mom was a makeup artist. That's not very common that a lot of people in the industry, well, sorry, the industry, like I'm saying, like I'm part of it, <laughs> the film industry like that, have, you know, their kid as a makeup artist and they're like, look, look, look. Like, I wonder if her mom does her makeup sometimes for the show. Maybe, maybe not. But that's really cool and that's amazing that her mom taught her so many things but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of mu reacts i'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you guys check out think of the podcast my podcast there's a brand new episode every single week the link will be in the description down below and make sure you guys check out think of the merch the merch for the podcast that will be releasing very very soon we will be doing many many giveaways coming in the weeks soon 
$50 gift card. So stay tuned for the week of the merch. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.